Hi guys, had a question from Nana Yi. I uh, hope I got the name right. Um, can my cars go up a ramp to one meter and stay there? I asked for extra details. The ramp had to be two and a half meters long, which is what this one is, and it ends up at a meter high. And I've modified this car that my grandson made for Christmas. Actually, it's the same components from a car that I made just before Christmas that I took apart and let him reassemble. So I'll put links to that in the notes. Um, and I'll show you what I did. Okay, the challenge is to go up a ramp a metre high and about two and a half metres long. So that's what I've constructed. So first attempt. Right, but we're supposed to stay at the top for ten, uh, at least ten seconds. Right, we'll try again. All I've done is I've wired the rubber bands on the back so they can't fly off. So they're permanently fixed to the back axle. Okay, try again. I'm not sure whether we're supposed to start from the ground or start on the slope. So I'm starting on the slope, at the beginning of the slope. Right. Need to wind it up a bit more this time. What I'm planning is that it jams itself against the top. Obviously a bit more to this challenge than I thought. Right, I'm going to try a modification. I've cut up a plastic pop bottle, cut a strip off it. There's a couple of little notches I've cut in it which line up with where the wheels are. Don't know if that's visible or not. I shall hot glue this plastic strip onto the chassis. And the idea is that the wheels can go forwards, but when they try and roll back, it will dig into the plastic. Don't know if that's visible or not. We'll see. That might help anyway. Right then. Flick my bits of plastic out the way so I can wind the wheels backwards. good to me. Okay, summary time. I don't know if you can see, that's my one meter height. There's the car sitting patiently. Uh, so I've no idea what design the ramp should have been, but that's the ramp that I've made. It's just over two and a half metres long. In fact, I think it's it's 2.5 to there. Um, I stuck a big block of wood at the end there so it doesn't fly off and hit my windows. The car itself is the simple car I did in uh, rubber band uh, rubber band powered car. Oh, I've forgotten what number it is now. Um, 
I'll put a link to it in the notes anyway. It's also the car that my grandson assembled at Christmas time. The only modifications I've done to it is I've trimmed the front axle so it fits inside my track. Um, so that's no different to what it was anyway. Um, I've got three lots of rubber bands on there but that's irrelevant. It just depends what sort of rubber bands you're allowed to use. Um, the big modification was to stick this bit of plastic on it that I cut from a pop bottle and that acts as a ratchet because it digs into the back wheels there to stop them rolling backwards. So that's how my car stops nicely when it gets to the top. It goes forwards but it doesn't go backwards. Uh, the wheels have got rubber tyres on them. They're made from uh, washing up gloves, rubber washing up gloves. Just a cardboard chassis. It's a double thickness of cardboard that I get from the supermarket from there. Um, what is it? Oh, that's their fruit and veg trays that they have. The back axle is a flower cane. Uh, that's drinking straw tubes that they sit in. Same at the front, drinking straw tube. Front wheels are made from credit cards cut into nice little circles. The front axle is a barbecue skewer. Uh, back wheels are CDs where I filled the holes in the middle by putting squares of plastic on them and then re-drilling the holes the right size for my flower canes. Uh, the build is all... I'll put a link to the original build for this car anyway in the notes. But that's it. That's my car. Travels up a two and a half metre slope up to a height of a metre where it stops when it hits that wooden block and it doesn't roll back because it's got a ratchet on it made from plastic. So I hope that helps.